Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, my fellow YouTubers, Facebook kids. Welcome to another edition of uh, Rita's video vlog. I'm Rita. Uh, please excuse me, I was looking for something for a second. Anyways, today I want to talk to you about breast augmentation. Now, I've just had it done, and the doctors asked me to bind my breasts to put a shit down so they will drop naturally in a couple weeks. So, being a trans woman, it's kind of hard. So, um, this is an update for eight days post-operative. Now, right now, the doctor, um, as you've heard in my previous video, the doctor basically went in to a 90-minute, um, a 90-minute chat about, um, and by the way, I have to wear this when I'm not bound because that's what he ordered. No regular bras for three months. Not even a push-up, but I'll get to that in a minute. So, um, anyways, um, so what I wanted to say is the doctor that did mine was an expert. He told me the pros and cons to saline, silicone gel, and gummy bear implants. Now, I got gummy bear implants for all of you out there. As you can see, um, they're pretty large. Uh, he wanted to put 550 cc's in, but couldn't fill it, so uh, I got what the best is. And apparently he was making the decision with like eight other assistants and nurses, keeping an eye on me while I was completely out of it in the operating room. I actually had general, which is sometimes cool, sometimes not. Depends on what happens, when, and if you wake up. So most doctors just go into the settings where it's local, but me... I was in a hospital type setting, so, you know, it was my first actual surgery, so, anyways, um, so, I'm getting ready for bed, and I thought I would do a quick update video for you all, um, first of all, breast augmentation, you don't just walk in there, and they stick them in, and they send you on your way, in some countries like Thailand, from what I understand, you pay for the surgeon, he gives you the implants, it might be American-made implants, it might be Korean, it might be Thailand, it might be Indian, or India, uh, from India, but you pay for them, but the doctor thinks you've done enough research, you don't need to do it. My doctor basically said, okay, here's the plan. For transgendered people, you need mostly extenders, and if you do need extenders, then, you know, your breast growth isn't that much, so we will give you the implants, but... He was giving me a warning about extenders. Well, it happens. Then he's telling me the pros and cons to each. And then he told me how the implant is formed properly in the body. So you don't just sit there and think they stick them in and you got a pair of boobs. Well, it is that simple, but it isn't. It's more complicated. Then they bind you. Some people have um, scars and holes for drainage. I have drainage tubes. And uh, it's uncomfortable. The doctor said I have to sleep on my back for the next month to two months after surgery. I got to follow up with a surgeon who's going to give a report to my surgeon, the breast surgeon, who did my surgery. So as you all know, um, it's not easy and it's kind of complicated. But the doctor gave me all the uh, info. And in the end, before I signed my paid name and everything to concrete for these uh, this uh, pair of breast implants. He told me what I'm getting. Gummy bear implants, the newest ones by Natrell. He also did everything that he needed for uh, the surgery. Uh, he ordered extra implants. He made sure I had the right thing. He had a sizer. He sized me up in the operating room and when he couldn't make the 550s look natural on me, they'd be like this and, you know, not natural. He kind of went down and even 525s, 530s, 540s, he went all the way down to 470 cc implants when he found out that that was the perfect fit and frame for my uh, breasts. So, and so you all know, they did give me some good narcotics to take away the pain, you know, a uh, high dosage of Percocet. Doctor didn't tell me when I was coming out of it. I was out of it for two days because I had general in me. They gave me enough medications to kill a horse, basically, and I was out of it for two days, uh, is what Aaron said. Uh, but uh, they gave me Percocet. When I finally went in there, I learned, I, I told the doctor, 
I'm constipated. He says, oh, yes, I forgot about that. Between the general anesthesia and the Percocet, you're going to be uh, constipated. Here you go. I just bought some constipation meds for a dollar at this place called Family Dollar, and it didn't work. It said, take three pills by in the morning. You'll have a nice, nice, uh, you know, uh, stool. It didn't happen. When I complained to the doctor, he gave me a 60-day supply of stool medicine. <laughs> And I took them, and by the next morning, I was completely and thoroughly clean. I mean, I was there all night. And then the next morning, when I finally worked it all out, before getting on a plane to come up here, um, let's just say it wasn't bad. <laughs> so, and then it worked from there to the next morning, and finally, uh, Wednesday morning, I was like, oh, I'm done now, you know. When we checked out of her hotel. So, uh, the, you got to make sure the doctor is reputable and he knows what he's talking about. If he's just sitting there and selling you implants and he's not telling you the pros and cons to each, look for someone else. Because this doctor I had was awesome. I mean, he told me the, uh, the ramifications of each one, how things go, etc., etc. So, you know, and this is my identification card. For some of you out there wondering, this says... Breast implant, it says, I device identification. It's a sticker. Sticker says, this is my serial number for uh, uh, the uh, natural, highly cohesive, anatomically shaped silicone bre filled breast implant. 400 cc on right, 400 cc on left, serial number and all. So, this is my identification card if, you know, I died or something. They could probably track down the information of where the implants, if the, you know, for example, and they could track it back to me, and it would show, you know, uh, I had uh, breast augmentation. So, um, but anyways, please do your research. Uh, the pain is subsiding. They made it go to a pain level four. Uh, it does have some burning sensations. I talked to the surgeon. He said that is just regrowth in your body that's regenerating so don't worry about it. He said massage them a lot when you're at home and you should not have the pain that often or the burning sensation so surgeon was just awesome I mean I got a you know uh, everything's good there so um, I gotta say I'm very happy with my uh, size and uh, for all of you out there just before I go breast augmentation when you do it, you say you start with a C, uh, A cup, for example, or even a C cup. You want to go to D or double D or triple D. You won't know your bra size because CCs do not equate into cup sizes. The brochures say that. The doctor told me that four times. So in the end, you know, I chose the 550 CCs thinking it would be perfect for my frame, but the doctor said it was a, uh, it was a fit, but it didn't look natural. Now, as you can see from this point of view, this is what it looks like from the side, and this is what it looks like from the front. So you can see, you know, they're probably, uh, uh, from everything I've seen, a C to a D cup will know more. But I got three months, and then I will, um, you know, what do you call it? I will uh, get sized for a bra. So everyone out there, all my trans sisters, this is the Nub Queen. Good night, my little nublets and my uh, loyal subjects. Peace be with you. Please add and subscribe if you like. Please post comments, leave feedback, suggestions. Thank you, and may God bless you in everything you do.